This is a mystery that will keep you guessing to the end. Almost two months ago, 38-year-old Aveta Mitchell disappeared from her family home after a roaring argument with her husband. No one has seen or heard from her since. So what happened to this popular mum? Well, the police suspect foul play. And tonight, you'll meet the man who describes himself as the prime suspect in this case, her husband, Chad. How are you? Sorry to interrupt us. Um, I'm just wondering if you'd seen this lady. I just wonder if you'd seen this lady around. I just wonder if you'd seen this lady anywhere around. Chad Mitchell is a desperate man. I wonder if he's had seen this lady around. She went missing on the 3rd of May. His Brian. wife, Evetta, disappeared without trace seven weeks ago. And ever since, he and his son, Kyle, have walked the streets of Perth, hoping a stranger may hold the key to her Thank whereabouts. You know. Yep. It's been a while now, hasn't it? A month or... Eight days. You've been counting the days, have you? Yeah. No, that's not okay, so But this yeah. is a mystery no. with a dark no. twist. No, I'm sorry. No, because not. while he searches the streets, Chad is living with the knowledge that he is the chief suspect in his wife's disappearance. What have the police told you? Um, they believe that I had done something to her and they wanted to know what I'd done and pretty much told me I was number one suspect. Did they use those words? Yeah. Did you murder your wife? No. I've never physically harmed her in any way. Never? Never. Why should we believe you? Well, because I've got nothing to hide, so if, if I did it, I would have come forward already and said that I had before. According to Chad, after an argument in the middle of the night, Aveta got up and walked out of their house, leaving their son Kyle and all her possessions. It's a scenario her close friends just don't believe. I can't see her doing that at all. A lot of people who know her that know her well know that she wouldn't do that. It's just not in her nature. Yeah. That's the jetty? Yeah. 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 But that one there's the best one. That yeah, should be put in large. Kim Skinner. Yeah. Sinky Nikolic <laughs> and Tammy DeWeyer know Aveta better than anyone. It's a beautiful dress. So, so when you heard that she'd walked out early in the morning and never come back? I was gobsmacked. <laughs> yeah, it was um, really weird because just not like her. Like I knew if she got cheesed, she'd go for a walk. But not to return home is not like her at all. And as you'll see tonight, the more you look at this missing persons case, the more things just don't add up. Police have made it clear they suspect a vetter has met with foul play. Is this still a missing persons investigation or are we now looking for uh, a body? It is a very serious uh, inquiry and uh, as I said earlier, we have uh, some grave concern for her. Maybe put a more decent, more well, recent more photo. I think maybe as her friend, do you think it's a missing persons case, or do you think it's more? It's a missing persons case, yeah. Are you saying that because you want to believe it? Yep. Oh, well, that's not 38-year-old Aveta Mitchell is a vivacious mother of three the life of the party who always has a smile on her face. She had two children from previous relationships when she met Chad, who was working as a bouncer at the local pub. They were married three years later and had their son, Kyle. But recently, the relationship had struck a rough patch. I saw her the Thursday before she disappeared. Did, did she give you any impression that it was, it was getting too much, that she needed to go away? No. No, no, not at all. So Chad, take me through the events that night, the last time that you saw her. What happened? Um, we'd had an argument last six months. We were having problems with the house, but I was sorting it out with the bank and it's mainly my fault that I wasn't telling her what was happening. Yvetta paid the living expenses and Chad 
paid the mortgage, or at least he was supposed to. They were thousands of dollars behind in repayments and in serious danger of losing the house. Why, why weren't you telling her? Because I didn't want her to worry. You said that we wouldn't lose the house! Were you shouting at her? No. She shouting at you? Yeah. You weren't shouting at all? No. So it was her shouting that woke your son up? Yeah. What's your problem? What is your problem? Are you what time did Kyle wake up and start crying? It was all about one o'clock-ish. And who went to look in on him? Um, both of us got up. I walk, went to walk in first and we got, nearly got to Kyle's room and I turned around and said, stop, just stay out, don't come in here, let me sort it out. Did she accept that? No. She followed me straight in after that. I put my arm over Kyle's ear and just said, get the f*** out, just get the f*** out now, please. And unfortunately she took me literally. So when you told her to get the F out away from her son, she got up and... and walked out the front door. Never to be seen again. She didn't stay and make sure Kyle was back to sleep? No, um, she knows how much I love the kids and she knows that I wouldn't leave them. And she, know, she knows that if something's wrong that I'll be there for them all the time as well. Chad says he heard the front door slam, so knew Aveta had gone outside. He claims she took her cigarettes, but she didn't take her wallet, keys or mobile phone. I've come down here and I've got to about here and I could see her over past the swings near the fence over there. About 80 metres away? Yeah. So you thought, what, she's on her way, I may as well go home? Yeah, she's just going for a walk and she'll be back soon or later and so I went and laid down with Kyle. WA Police have publicly stated Chad Mitchell is not a person of interest, but they confirm he's assisting them with their inquiries and they've spoken to him on a number of occasions. But they stress that's all normal procedure. Meantime, they have scoured this bushland right opposite the Mitchell home in their search for a vetter. And they've spent a few days going through the local quarry where Chad was working when a vetter went missing. Chad, explain to me what was happening here. Well, this is where I was working, crushing all this limestone and stuff. Chad operated a crusher here, but he's only worked three days since Aveta's disappearance. In fact, two weeks ago, he was sacked. I'll tell you what, I'm not an expert, but it's a very good place to hide a body, isn't it? So everyone says, yeah. And the police think so too. Did the police tell you that they suspected you'd buried her here? Yes. They told me straight to my face. What'd they say? Um, something like, we believe you have done something to your wife and we're going to look at that quarry because you've got access to there 24 hours a day and we're going to be digging that whole place up to look. There's another reason police may have concentrated their investigation on Chad. Have you ever been in trouble with the law? Yes. What was the nature of the problem? I was collecting some money for someone and we got charged with trespassing and possession of a weapon. You were collecting money on behalf of a drug dealer? Um, yeah. What was the weapon? Just a plastic bar out of a sledgehammer. He says he was convicted of possession of a weapon and admits to using speed. But he swears that's all in the past. Well, has it been a good marriage? Yeah, 90, 99% of it, yeah. It's been great. But maybe Chad was living in denial. Friends say the marriage was on the verge of collapse and Aveta was looking to move out. Oh, they've been a bit rocky. Yeah, she was um, asking me about a rental property. She was planning on moving on with her kids. When did you find out that Aveta was planning to leave you? The police told me. The police told you that? Yeah. Does that surprise you? Um, I did a little bit, yeah. Come on, surely. I knew things were bad, but I didn't think that bad, because before it always worked things out. 
But perhaps the most bizarre twist in the case came two weeks after Aveta's disappearance. One night, while taking out the garbage, Chad says he found his wife's wedding and engagement rings that had been placed on the front mat. I ne nearly passed out when I seen them. And then I rang the detectives, but I've picked them up and had a look to make sure that they were. Our, they were her rings? Yeah, because our wedding rings have got an engraving on the inside. Oh, so it was screamingly obvious? Yeah. Who do you think put them there? I don't know. I wished at the time I hoped it was her, letting, letting us know that she was alright. But Chad, there were no fingerprints on them, apart from yours. Yeah, just the two when I picked them up, apparently. Hmm. But if they've come off her fingers... Yeah. Why wouldn't they have fingerprints on them? I don't know. Obviously she didn't put them there then. Someone else has put them there. Or? What the police said that I did, but I didn't do it. I didn't put her rings there. Why would I put her rings there? To make it look as though she was still alive? No, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I thought you were here to help. What's the matter? I can't do this because I thought you were here to help and I feel like this is just grilling me now. Our questions became too much okay. for Chad, okay. but he's been asked them many times before. Police questioned him for 16 hours over two days. And even his own family have quizzed him. Yvetta's 20-year-old son, Peter Reid, repeatedly grilled his stepfather about what happened that Sunday night. And he has come to believe in Chad's innocence. You lined him up, did you? You said, listen, have you done anything yeah. to my mum? Yeah. And what was his response? He broke down, mate. <laughs> uh, made me feel pretty bad about myself, but, you know, it's my mum. You believe your stepfather? 100%. Absolutely? Absolutely. You think you'd be able to tell if he was telling lies? For sure. She was always there for you when you needed her. Yvetta's 13-year-old daughter just wants to have her mum back home. Let us know you're right, so you can't stop worrying. That's a huge worry, isn't it? Well, let's hope that mobile phone rings sooner. I just wonder if you had seen this lady. Yvetta has made no contact with anyone since she vanished, and none of her bank accounts have been accessed. While everyone wants to remain hopeful, it's getting harder by the day. I've got to you know, be positive because of the kids as well, to make sure you know, like that they're, you know, they're okay. Sorry. <laughs> Chad, take a seat. Chad finally returned to finish our interview. Why did you uh, walk out? Um, you just brought back all the memories from the, all my police interviews and stuff and it just really hurt. Are you familiar with the term crocodile tears? I think so, yeah. Is that what I'm seeing? No. The police hunt for Aveta Mitchell goes on, but right now the investigation seems to have stalled. Chad insists he had nothing to do with her disappearance and believes police should be looking elsewhere. What do you think has happened to her? The worst. Someone's done something to her and she can't come home. Someone's killed her. That's what you truly believe. Feeling like that now, yes. Chad, if you're right, it's an amazing coincidence. Do you follow my line of thinking? I know everyone's looking at me, but I didn't know I can't. I could never ever harm my wife. She's just... She's the most beautiful person in the world. If what you're saying is right, then we have to believe that virtually at the exact moment that she walked out of here, there was someone a potential killer who pounced and grabbed her. Possibly, yeah. On the very night that you had an argument with her and that you were the last person to see her alive. I mean, you would have to be the unluckiest bloke in the world, wouldn't you? 
That's what I blame myself for it all. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.